Dear friends, welcome to the first episode of this scientific series. A series that brings together the genius of the past, the wisdom of the East, and the spirit of modern research. Here we begin our journey with the Canon of Medicine by Avicenna, a book that, for centuries, remained the primary reference for teaching medicine in universities around the world. But we will not read it merely as a historical text. Rather, we will attempt to rediscover it anew by integrating it with traditional Chinese medicine, German complementary medicine, and the latest advancements of modern medical science. In this introductory episode, we pause with the fundamental question, what is medicine? Avicenna defined medicine as the science by which we learn about the conditions of the human being in terms of health and illness, in order to preserve health when it exists and to restore it when it is lost. This simple definition carries within it a profound philosophy that medicine is not merely about curing disease, but also about the art of maintaining health. That the human being is the true center of the medical process, body, soul and spirit. In traditional Chinese medicine, we find nearly the same meaning. Medicine there is built upon maintaining the balance of qi, the vital energy in the body, before this balance is disrupted and turns into illness. In German complementary medicine, especially within schools of holistic medicine, the core idea is also prevention before treatment, with focus on the patient as a whole, rather than the illness alone. And when we turn to modern medicine, we find that this concept has begun to take root once again in recent decades. Under the title of preventive medicine, it emphasizes a healthy lifestyle, proper nutrition, physical activity, mental well-being, and harmony with the environment. Thus, we see that what Avicenna wrote a thousand years ago resonates today with the most advanced concepts of contemporary medicine. When we view the human being as an integrated whole, mind, body, and spirit. In the upcoming episodes, we will delve chapter by chapter into the canon of medicine, and we will transform these ideas into practical tools for understanding diseases, diagnosing them, and treating them, drawing on this unique fusion of ancient wisdom and modern science. Stay with us for the second episode, where we begin with the very first section of the book, the elements of the human body, according to Avicenna, and how they can be compared with the theory of the five elements in Chinese medicine, as well as with the latest findings of modern biology. See you soon.